This is your ET Final Score Sports Update. I'm Tom Mitzoff. Tony Gwynn, the greatest pure hitter of his generation, whose perfect left-handed swing won him eight batting titles and a litany of admirers across baseball, died this morning after years of battling cancer. He was 54. Gwynn, who spent his entire 20-year career with the San Diego Padres, underwent multiple surgeries over the past four years to remove cancerous tumors from his mouth, blaming a smokeless tobacco habit. The United States' first World Cup game is this afternoon at 5 o'clock Central Time against Ghana. The Black Stars, as the team is known, have been breaking American hearts for years. They have knocked the U.S. out of the World Cup twice. If you're wondering about the U.S. team's chances, they're in the so-called Group of Death, which, along with Ghana, includes Portugal and Germany. Now don't forget that one of the U.S. team's stars, forward Cliff Dency, hails from Nacogdoches. Rodney Thomas, who played running back for the Houston Oilers, Tennessee Titans, and Atlanta Falcons during a seven-year NFL career, has died. He was 41. Thomas died Saturday in Groveton, the small East Texas town where he grew up. The Oilers selected the Texas A&M running back in the third round of the 1995 draft, and he ran for 947 yards and five touchdowns during his rookie season. Be sure to watch CBS 19 News tonight at 6 and 10, and visit telepaper.com, and for all the latest scores and sports news, go to etfinalscore.com.